Politics has erupted over the Morbi Bridge tragedy, which has led to the loss of life of over 130 people and counting. The Trinamool Congress and the Congress Party are training guns on the Bhartiya Janata Party, which is uh, in the government in Gujarat. The Congress has asked, I quote the Congress Party first, how did the bridge break after renovation? Who gave permission to open the bridge in the first place? Kirti Azada said that uh, the rush to get things done before elections. Just remember Gujarat because it's a pole bound state. The Trinamool Congress has also jumped in saying here, is this an act of God or act of fraud? The pole body and Modi has murdered people. So this remember is also dirty politics. That's now escalating. Kirti Azad saying, is this uh, the pole body and Modi that has murdered the people? This, remember, at a time when the rescue operations are presently on, we're talking about uh, the last stage of the rescue operations because according to the personnel on the job, it's very difficult now to be able to bring people alive. But there must be uh, at least the bodies that would, could be, have been trapped in that uh, river, the Machi River, over which uh, this bridge was constructed, renovated and then opened up to public. But now politicians are at each other's throat. The Congress party has uh, asked who gave permission to open this bridge and importantly how did the bridge break if this was renovated after the renovation that is. The TMC and the Congress are training guns on the ruling party which is the Bharatiya Janata party but Kirti Azad has made a specific comment saying this was a rush to get things done just before elections. Is this an act of God or act of fraud? This is the election body and Modi referring to Prime Minister Narendra Modi who has murdered people. Just remember, uh, the Netas targeting the BJP and also, of course, the questions need to be asked very clearly and very specifically about who is going to be held accountable. Whether it's the Netas, the bureaucracy, the corporation cannot just pass the buck if the bridge was opened by the contractor, by the officials who gave permission. Why was all not checked and knowing fairly well that this is a festive rush of a weekend, why was the festive rush not checked in time? Tickets were being sold. It was not just a free-for-all. And if the tickets were being sold, is that not a clear indicator that this has gone beyond the capacity, not just of weight, but for people that can be allowed? We're talking about families. We're talking about innocent lives right now that have been lost of women, children, men. We saw the visuals of people trying to hold on to that last metal of that bridge as a lifeline. Some were able to swim back to the bank. Rescue operations have started, but also think about the first responders, the local residents of Gujarat, the migrant laborers who were around in that vicinity, who jumped after that sunset and jumped in to rescue at least as many as they possibly could at that last minute. This is a race against time. It's been more than 12 hours already. Sunday evening tragedy, and you're looking at the rescue operations now.